We're here to do lashes. We're here to do lashes at home. We're tired of paying hundreds of dollars for lashes. Brown baller, take one. Action. Babies, welcome back to another video. My name is Kay and this is Crown Baller. First things first, before we even get into this video, we're gonna make it real quick and to the point. Make sure y'all smash that red subscribe button down below. Join the team, consider our bench. We would love to have you here, of course. Also, follow me on all of my social medias if you're not doing so already. It'll be on the screen. If not, then we'll be in the description box <laughs> below. Y'all know how this goes. So, without any further ado, Let's get into this video. Okay, okay. so as y'all can tell from the title, we're here to do lashes. We're here to do lashes at home. We're tired of paying hundreds of dollars for lashes. I do have a couple lash videos up on my channel, but I feel like I'm just gonna start recording every single time I do my lashes now. Cause I just feel like at this point, let's just help the people help the people so normally i would do like a voiceover but i'm just gonna kind of talk through this video i am trying some new lashes they are the 3d faux mink individual lashes they are clusters that means i can do a little bit less and get a little bit more if that makes sense normally i use like the individual clusters but these are like the longer clusters, I guess. They're three faux mink individuals. It says they're multi-dimensional, lightweight, not free. I got long and medium, long on the outside, medium in the middle, and then I would have some shorts just in the corner creases of my eyes. I don't have any of the three faux mink individuals, so I just looked at my little <laughs> lash box. This is literally my lash box. It's all kind of lashes in there. And I just got some, just some normal, not free natural short blacks um by ardell and i also got some not free double flare shorts as well so literally it's just the end of whatever is left i only use like three or four of the short ones at most so right now i'm just kind of gonna clean my tools we are working with our eyes so we want to make sure everything is disinfected and clean I'm just gonna wipe off my tweezers i just have the normal little tweezers then i have like a little comb spoolie i have like this little gadget that i use at the end when i'm finishing my look and then i found these actually in my mom's room and i've seen these on a lot of videos um these are like kiss tweezers i'm gonna attempt to use these today they have like the slanted slash straight edge today i don't know how successful i'm gonna be but i'm gonna attempt i've already prepped my eyes i washed my face completely and then i use some toner to like cleanse my lashes when i don't use toner to clean my lashes before i do my lashes they don't last as long so i would definitely recommend to wash your face really good don't put any lotions or oils on your lashes and then before you actually do your lashes wipe them very good with like a toner i use an alcohol free toner so it's really safe for my eyes like don't be putting no alcohol on your eyes like that's weird also i'm using this ardell lash glue and i'm just gonna find a place to put this so i like to put out like a little dollop of glue let it get kind of tacky and then go in with my lashes i find the more tacky the glue is the better it stays instead of putting your lash in the glue freshly out the bottle because then you have to like almost wait for it to dry this kind of accelerates that process i'm gonna let little baby get a little tacky and i'm gonna start with my longs like i said on that outer corner of my eye and then i'm just gonna build baby up i don't know if i said it already or not but like this is my first time ever trying these lashes so i'm very interested and also nervous on how they're going to be we gonna see together i don't know if you guys can tell but it comes on like this little plastic sticky strip versus like the little pocket that the normal lashes come in which is really different i'm gonna use these and see if it is any better <laughs> immediately yes so I'm gonna just brush out my lashes. I do have like this little piece that's still in there. It will not go away. Did I get it? Oh, I might have got it. Oh. I haven't had any lashes on for like four days. I, try, I like to give my lashes like a, a little small break. I'm gonna take my 
little piece and almost drag it in the glue. And then I'm gonna lift my lash. And I'm not gonna place it on the waterline, but right above it. Ooh, uh-uh. Okay. So immediately what I don't like about the tweezers, and maybe it's just because it's my first time using them, is that I don't really have as much control that I would of the other ones, but we're gonna try that again. I added just a little bit of glue. Ooh, okay. Come on. I do have a little mirror down here, so it's helping. I honestly don't have the patience for those immediately. It's too late at night, so I'm gonna I'm stick to what I know. Okay, so I just went ahead and finished this eye. I did the longs on the outside, then I did the mediums in the middle, and then I did just a couple of the shorts in the inside corner of my eye. I'm gonna let you guys see me do the mediums and the shorts on this eye, and then I'm gonna come back because then I have another little tip and trick that I like to do to make my lashes pop a little bit more. So I'm gonna let you guys watch this process. Okay, so as you can see, I finished this eye and she looks really cute. She looks very natural. I love that these lashes are like super, super duper lightweight. Like I can barely feel that there are lashes on my eyes. Not even gonna exaggerate. I love that they're easy to pick up versus like the normal Ardell lashes. They kind of come with like a little glue residue on them almost. These don't, these pick up really easily and I don't have to like pull any of that residue off. I'm definitely a fan of these lashes, but I just wanted to show you guys because obviously this eye looks completely different than this eye. I went ahead and added a little bit more fullness into this eye and I almost regret it at this point because I do like the way that these look. These look a lot 
more natural than these but that's okay because when they begin to fall out they're gonna go back to these i'm just gonna show you guys how i get this same like fullness on this eye i literally am just gonna add more lashes but because i don't have any more space on the bottom of my waterline i'm gonna begin to add them on the top of my waterline and that's how i get this thickness also a tip for you guys you don't want to like connect your lashes like if you guys can see i have space in between each lash or at least i try to um because you don't want like multiple lashes to come out when they begin to fall you only want one like if one fall that's fine but like three falling that's a little absurd so just take that into consideration like just make sure you have at least a little bit of space in between each lash when you apply it i'm just doing the exact same thing where i just add the long and then the mediums and then if i need to the shorts um but again it's it'll be on top of my lash instead of the bottom of my waterline and at this point you definitely run me some more glue so i hope that you have re-upped at this point if you're following along with me i kind of dip my lash into the glue and then I dip off the excess on the side just because you don't want a whole bunch of glue residue. So I literally try to push it against my, the lid of my eye as much as possible. And then I try to like press it down as well and instead before i was dragging my lash like dragging like a hook motion um the glue on the lash to put it underneath now i'm like pushing the glue on the top because we're placing these this way versus this way so i really hope i'm making sense I struggled a little bit with this eye, but we finally got her together. So I'm going to use these little tweezers. And I like to go in and almost like sandwich my lashes together. For me, it just gives a little bit of extra security. And then I'm going to just brush them out. Like this, like that. Brush this side out too. Do have a comb side that I can get into. If we got some unruly joints that we need to get together. So yeah, this is pretty much it. This is how I do my salon lashes at home for cheap. These packs of lashes also were like six to seven dollars in sally beauty supply store i've only seen them in sally beauty supply so you guys might want to check online if you don't have a sally near you i'll try to link them down below try to look on the website and like find them on the website so you guys can see but yeah girl i don't feel like a 12 year old no more like am i giving grown hold on hold on hold on am i giving grown or no <laughs> 
but that is all babes i hope that you all enjoyed this video if you have any questions comments or concerns definitely let me know down in the comment section below let me know if you've tried these lashes if you recommend i try any lashes but i'm about to get out of here it's officially like midnight i definitely gotta get to bed thank you so much for watching if you made it up to this point make sure you thumbs up this video subscribe if you haven't already share it please feel free to share 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 we need as much traffic to our channel as possible i'm all about baddie on a budget beauty on a budget we can look good and not be broke doing it thank you babe so much i can't wait to see you in the next one and give me a kiss Mwah.